morning students today we are going to discuss about uh, the modern manufacturing system unit 1 advanced casting techniques so first of all we should know the casting in our day to day life so casting sir uh, casting objects are everywhere in our day to day life starts from uh, idols statues uh, household appliances uh, swords even in automobile applications uh, the engine blocks are made up of casting so casting is everywhere so casting means pouring the molten metal into the mold with a cavity of the shape to be made and allow it to be solidified the solidified object is called casting so in this unit we are going to discuss about the topics expandable pattern casting plaster mold casting ceramic mold casting vacuum casting squeeze casting rapid solidification for amorphous alloys and casting for single crystal components so we are going to see only the quick bits about the all the topics first of all we'll look mold casting see the keyword of the expandable mold casting is polystyrene foam so similar way the investment casting is uh, told us uh, uh, lost wax method this method is called as lost foam process see polystyrene foam is used for making the pattern so once the polystyrene foam pattern has been made we are spraying the refractory elements around the foam and then it is allowed to solidify then uh, after solidification the molten metal is poured so once the molten metal is poured the foam will uh, melt out okay so various advantages and disadvantages of the expandable uh, pattern casting next plaster mold casting if if we require very good uh, surface finish then we have to go for the plaster mold casting usually the casting methodology involves post casting process okay the post machining process or surface finishing process are required in order to avoid that we are going for the plaster mold casting so in the plaster mold casting the female dye is made up of gypsum and water mixture so what the gypsum and water mixture make made up of it will uh, it will give you a smooth surface finish so okay so this is the keyword for the plaster mold casting okay so gypsum and water mixing and it was made as a female dye you can see the finishing of the objects which was made by the plaster mold casting technology so next one is the ceramic mold casting so in the ceramic mold casting so it is used to manufacture large components like military appliances uh, windmill uh, spars or any intricate shapes so it is a quick setting ceramic investment it is called as quick setting ceramic investment so the blended ceramic particles are mixed rapidly with the liquid binder and then it is allowed to flow freely on the slurry then it is uh, then the pattern is made any any size any shape pattern can be made through the ceramic casting see the example the windmill hub the water look out the size and shape of the windmill hub any intricate complicated shapes or large shapes can be made with the ceramic casting products so next topic vacuum casting so in the vacuum casting so it is also similar to the investment casting but here the concept is we are creating the vacuum inside the pattern we are creating the vacuum inside the pattern you can see here you can see here so once the vacuum is created in the pattern after 5 seconds after 1 minute after 2 minute after 6 minutes so so because of the low pressure created over there automatically the molten metal has been poured inside that thing so usually the hollow parts or hollow casting can be made with the help of the vacuum casting technique okay squeeze casting so squeeze casting is actually a process which combines the casting and forging so in the forging process we usually apply the heavy external pressure or heavy external load so here same thing we are uh, uh, pouring the molten metal and simultaneously applying the load so simultaneously we are applying the load uh, with the closed die condition 
so after the load has been applied uh, then the it will be ejected to get the final product we can eject the product through the ejector pin so next topic is the rapid solidification so what is the reason for rapid solidification why we have to go for rapid solidification some of the uh, products require uh, immediate solidification technology okay so rapid uh, solidification involves cooling of the fluid at a rate of as high as 10 kelvin per second so whereby the molten material does not have sufficient time to crystalline along the long distance so then we can get a very good uh, product with good crystal structure that is a main uh, purpose of rapid solidification so in the rapid solidification technique we are having that uh, single roller technique and double roller technique in the single roller technique uh, we are having the liquid metal poured through the orifice over here okay and then it is sent through the uh, metal uh, the, there is a spinning wheel or cast spinning wheel which was already cold in condition once it is uh, touches the spinning wheel which was very cold condition so automatically it will get rapidly solidified see rapid solidification has been done and the product has been taken out okay so next methodology so it is a metal spinning process the same thing so the alloy is melted by the induction in the crucible under a high gas pressure very high speed against the rotating copper disc here this is a copper disc so it is a uh, say uh, with a, under a high pressure it has been uh, sent through the rotating copper disc which is a chill block so immediately it will get solidified okay so next single crystal casting sir what is the necessity for the single crystal casting so some of the turbine blades which was made for the military purposes jet engine turbine blades are obviously getting a creep fracture due to the fatigue and creep there are more failures are occurring when it is made with the conventional method of casting technology that is the reason we are going for the single crystal casting procedure see so in the conventional methodology so the grain structure developed is a polycrystalline so with respect to the polycrystalline structure now the creep and cracking along the boundaries are formed at elevated temperature so in order to avoid this creep and cracking especially in the turbine blades it will be going for the single crystal growth uh, technique so it is also called as a Choklaski crystal growth technique so in the crystal pulling it is also called as a crystal pulling method see you can see that hmm? so this is known as a crystal seed so this is a crystal seed so this is the molten metal okay so this is a say a seed crystal is a dip this is a seed crystal seed crystal is dipped into the liquid and then pulled out see here we are pulling it out here we are pulling out at a rate of 10 to 20 mm per second so while rotated at about one uh, revolution per second so because of that so in this figure you can clearly see you can see this yellow region this yellow region so this is the growth of the single crystal so because of this is a heater so pedestal and this is the crucible inside the crucible the metal is been melted so uh, with the seed crystal we are pulling it out okay with the pull rod so with the particular uh, revolution and the rpm so uh, with respect to that the single crystal has been grown and it has been taken out so uh, it is uh, more familiar with the silicon germanian elements silicon and germanian elements